Hey there everyone, this is Nazar from Naughty Crafts and today we are going to do another yarn review of this beautiful yarn called Sholly by Ganga Acro Wools. Uh, so if you are interested in the video, stay in the video and if you are interested in videos of similar kind, make sure you like the video and uh, subscribe to my channel. And if you are interested in more of my work, you can follow the links in the description to my uh instagram and uh, facebook handles so you can jump there and check more of my work but today we are doing a review of this beautiful yarn yarn called sholly this is a uh, yarn from an in bra in-house brand of ganga acrobos that is heartbeats yarns which is a you know sub brand of ganga acrobos for their premium line of yarns so this yarn right here is called sholly it says it's a wool and mohair blend as you can see and let's just get into the details of the yarn here so the blend is 84 percent acrylic and eight percent mohair and eight percent wool and the weight is 150 grams and the length is 810 meters guys that is a lot of length in a cake for a cake of yarn you know uh, the usual size skeins of yarn you get they are around 160, 170, 180 meters. So this big guy has almost four to five of uh, you know the total length of those balls. So that's a lot, trust me. And uh, the retail price of this is 280. And uh, if you want to purchase this yarn, you can you know go to the Heartbeats website but i got this from pradhan embroidery stores uh which i think uh, it's more convenient for me since i have to you know shop all different kinds of yarns <laughs> so i get this all of the stuff together for myself and here if you will see it's categorized as number three lightweight yarn which is uh you know the recommended hook and needle size is four and a half and three and a half respectively for crochet and uh, knitting and it also uh, gives you a, a usual gauge uh, sizing so you, for a 10 by 10 centimeter swatch you have 24 stitches and 35 rows and similarly for a crochet you have 16 st stitches and 18 rows so that's for the details and for the colors we have three colors here but they have launched a total of six colors which i will insert a picture of right here so if you want you can just pause the video and appreciate the beauty of all these colors they are such such pretty colors and let me just give you a closer look to the colors i'll turn on the lights so this one here uh, might have to be my favorite because it's very earthy and yet very fun it has this, I don't know, weird green color, which is very cute. And it has a uh, peach and a very, very light blue there. Uh, so that's for this one. This is the shade number one. And uh, for the shade number four, here I have this is very this is also very cloudy and you know i don't know why uh, clouds come to my mind when i look at this one so it has a different hues of uh, off white which transitions to you know very very light tinty blue and then it goes to you know this deep blue and then again back to the same spectrum so that's shade number 4 and here the third color that we have got is shade number two which is very you know sunny i don't know sun and spring is what comes to my mind so this it's it's a blend of peach yellow a bit of mustard there and you know some variations of pink and uh, very baby pink shades there so these are the three colors that we have here of course they have the other three colors and uh, now let's just uh, jump to uh, do a little test 
and I want to also show you that I've already worked with this yarn and I have made a knitted sweater which I am halfway through but yeah another thing I wanted to point out is when you buy one of these it comes in this beautiful uh, ziplock bag which is very handy since you can put slip in your project into the bag and not worry about creating a mess with all your you know progressing works so let me just pull that out and you guys you guys this one cake gave me a whole length of this sweater which is which is huge i wish i could show you the whole sweater in the video but i won't be able to so you can just follow me on instagram to get a more you know detailed look a closer look to this sweater i'll be sharing this soon uh but what i wanted to show you here is the work oh my god it is so squishy so soft and i deliberately went a size up i went with five millimeter needles because i wanted a lacy and a very airy fabric and this was just perfect i had such an amazing time working with this yarn since you know it has that woolly texture with the mohair in there you can see it it's so beautiful to work with uh so yeah, that's with the sweater i this one i worked in this shade if you would have guessed this is made with shade number one so i'll just put that aside and i'll grab a crochet hook so we'll be doing a little crocheting so here i here i have my four millimeter crochet hook and one thing one thing you don't have a center pull uh, you have to dig in to find the center pull uh, which i think is a bit inconvenient to do on camera because we might end up with a yarn vomit so i won't be uh, you know attempting to do that i'll just slide the label off we can all we can always always and also work from the outer end which is also very convenient since you can just you know place the cake of yarn beside you and just pull the yarn that is why the cake cakes were invented in the first place they just stay right there beside you just like a little friend and you can just crochet on it okay so and i'm sorry if you are hearing my cat in the background he has gone crazy uh, so let's just grab the yarn give me a second give me a second and open the door for him so my cat is inside and we can just continue with our work uh, so if you would get a closer look at the strand of the yarn i'll try to focus in for you to see all this mohair that is running through this fuzz oh my god it is very very cute and very soft as it works up so we'll just make a little chain of i don't know 10 maybe one three four five six seven eight nine ten so chain of ten what do we work in let's work in half double crochets and my cat is playing in the background so i just hope he doesn't mess up with the setup i've given him a little ball of yarn so he's just playing with that and you can see these stitches are working up very nicely and evenly the the thickness of the yarn is even throughout even though you have the mohair going through let's just finish this first row here oops oh my god <laughs> the first chain is always very hard to get in as you can see the cute little row of half double crochets let's go up a bit chain one turn and do another row because i want to show you something so we'll work another row yes my 
can hear my cat in the background probably he wants my attention so let's just so what I want to show you here is if you have a little experience with wool yarns or yarn with mohair in it you might know that it's a very big mess if you try to unravel it while you're unraveling it it'll tend to catch on to itself but here we have worked a little amount and we were using a you know a fairly larger hook size for this but you can see it catches on to itself that more here gets on to itself and it is very hard to get out so if you are thinking of unraveling your work just don't try to do that or try to do that very carefully as you might ruin the whole piece so yeah very beautiful yarn it's uh i think it's a steal at this price because you are getting a whopping 810 meters of length and and I think if I had made this uh, sweater a little bit skinnier uh, I might have gotten an entire sweater out of this shawl because it, that is a lot uh, so yeah I think that's it for today thank you for joining me and make sure you're subscribed to the channel for future videos and until next time have fun crocheting knitting or doing your thing Bye-bye, take care, stay safe, stay healthy, bye.